Hello friends, and welcome back to another video. As of July 2025, the current Windows 11 version is 25H2, and it has been released in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. Now, to get this version the official way, you need to enroll in the Insider program and meet certain region and hardware eligibility requirements. In some cases, the update might not even be available in your country yet. Fortunately, there's a much easier alternative that doesn't require you to be an insider or wait for the rollout. All you need to do is open your browser and go to the UUP Dump website. For those of you who are unfamiliar with it, UUP Dump is a community developed platform that allows users to download Windows update files directly from Microsoft servers and convert them into complete ISO images. It's completely safe to use, and it gives you more flexibility in choosing exactly which version of Windows you want. Once you're on the site, look for the latest Windows 11 Insider build listed under the dev channel that's where the 25H2 version currently resides. Click on the most recent build number. Next, choose your preferred language and click Next. Then, you'll be asked to select which editions of Windows you want to include in the ISO. I usually go with Windows 11 Pro, but feel free to choose any version you prefer, such as Home, Education, or Enterprise. In the next step, be sure to select the Download and Convert to ISO option. Also, check the box to include the latest updates. This ensures your ISO is fully up to date right from the start. Once the download finishes, go to your Downloads folder and extract the compressed file you just downloaded. Inside the extracted folder, you'll find a bat file. This is the script that handles everything. Right click on the bat file and choose Run as administrator. When prompted, type R to allow it to run and begin the process. This may take some time depending on your internet speed, as it will download all required update files on the latest Windows build. Once everything is downloaded, the script will automatically assemble all the pieces into one clean ISO image. I'll fast forward this part for you. On my system, it took about two hours to complete from start to finish. Now that the preparation is complete, locate the Windows image inside the same folder. It should be an ISO file. You'll recognize it by the extension and the file name matching the version we selected earlier. And there you have it. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Your help is very much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching.